This poem is for the drug addicts, the dope fiends. This poem is for 90 pound bodies shriveling in gutters like dry fruit. This is for those who shoot. For the withering alley cat specters dancing sleepwalk in the devil's daymare, slaves to the needle and the spoon. This poem is for my siblings who met their makers too soon. This poem is for you. You who was blacklisted for your sickness, convicted, untouchable, and criminally ill. You who was locked up for possession without hope of redemption for your child, who is missing you, and doesn't understand the reasons the drug war nabbed his daddy, and who will follow in his bootsteps if not properly guided. This poem is for you who grew up comfortable but were missing something, who graduated from the school bus to the squad car, the pen to the magnum, you who found your fate, your fountain in the hate in Ashbury. No hurry, why worry? Life is a joy ride a stranger's car, and smack is the main line out of middle class and into an early grave. This is for the track marks we paid. This poem is for you who was on the wait list for an underfunded treatment center for three months deciding between triage through treatment or deliverance through death, anything to stop the suffering. This poem is reality. I know this poem. This poem is for me. Me who used to strip mine straight pieces of pill out of the carpet, snorting whatever came along with the catch. Me who found bliss in every brand new orange bottle. Me for whom the birds chirping in the morning would produce paranoia. Me who stayed up for five days awake who were gunshots with psychotic delusions. Me who got clean. Yeah. Yeah. Me who no longer lived between high-speed chases and post-mania comas under the covers. This poem is for worried mothers. This poem is for hope. It's for one day, just this day, clean and serene, finally again a human being. It's for not being an animal, a slave to my desires, impulse towards deadly indulgence. It was just skin, clear scabs, face full of color and complexions for a job and education. Poetry slams again published. It's for friends and family, proud to call me theirs. For a mother, I can look in the eye. This poem is for hope. This poem is also for the fallen, for this society's child soldiers digging their trenches in Southeast DC and Baltimore. This poem is not for the war on drugs, the war on the poor, the war on the spirit. This poem is an epidemic. This poem is for my dead kin who struggle no more. For those who gave up on life and greeted the reaper in the backseat of a beat up caddy with not an ounce of body fat, sunken cheeks, emaciated skeletons, the ones we loved, dead at 23. This poem is an epitaph. This poem is statistics. This poem rolls dice. This poem is proof that the dealer didn't win. This poem is for every addict who never met the pen. It's for last gasps beneath bridges for funerals. We didn't have the courage to attend. This poem is for resistance, resilience, and blind fucking luck. This is a poem against all odds. This poem should be six feet under, but it defies gravity. I defy gravity. I defy death.